Yeah, this is what Casey would have wanted, Casey and Tom. You know, to have them all come out and all the kids play and have so much fun, it's, it's truly a blessing. To me, it's just pure joy. Have it this side of town, yeah, it's just pure joy. It is, and it's been great working with the city. They've been fantastic. Um, every time we drive by here a lot, and to see it, so many children playing and the laughter and the, and the screaming and the, Squealing, just I know Casey would have been right there in the middle of them, yeah. I'm sure. She loved people and she loved children. She was an early childhood education major at uh, University of Dayton and she always, um, you know, migrated toward children and they loved her, so I know she would have loved this. Yeah. Well, you know, I think the playground, we've always taken our kids to playgrounds. They like the splash pad, but we've taken them to the different parks around the city and stuff. And they've all enjoyed the, the uh, playground, but I think it complements the splash pad because you know you go over there, you play around a little bit, come over here, you you know warm up a little bit, and go back there and cool off again. But they did a phenomenal job. This ex really exceeded our expectations. This is awesome. It has. Yeah. Tom. Oh, he loved it. Yeah. You know, he he just liked doing stuff with the kids. You know, coached a lot, uh, did a lot, did everything with the girls. So this would, you know, he'd feel the same way. He did be tickled to death. He would have yeah. loved to bring the grandsons giving. here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here. Brought yeah. the grandkids here. And yeah. He was, had a very giving heart, so yeah. he would have oh, yeah. enjoyed it very it. much. Yeah. He would have loved it. Well, he was always running away from his older brother. <laughs> he was always picking on him, so. Well, he fell, well, he had troubles a couple. He fell off the gym thing one time yes, and, and bit his tongue in half. Bit his tongue in half. Broken arm, broken arm. Broken arm. Always yeah. climbing, always yeah. playing. Maybe yeah. he would like the splash pad. Yeah. A little more, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as dangerous, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had uh, my two grandsons here a few weeks ago, and they absolutely loved it. They just didn't know which way to turn. Which way to turn? They would run through there, then over here, and they just loved it. Yeah, yeah. ours love it too. I mean, they're they're here right now. And yeah, yeah, they love it. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I just hope they have great memories of it when they get older. I just hope when they're our age that they'll tell their kids you know so we because we hope this is you know up and running for generations that how much fun they had here and and i think they'll remember tom and casey you know their memory that that helped them to, but to have great memories yeah. here yeah what a great great place for kids to grow up and you know play my gosh look at this this is awesome it really is awesome yeah you know it's a really fun thing because you see a lot of parents here with their children and a lot of grandparents here with their children that's gonna make a lot of memories. Yeah, we've just heard positive things yeah. you know, from everyone, you know, just like even just the shelter and the restrooms and, and yeah. all, you know, just that yeah. part of it. It's like, you know, it was nice to see when we were here a few, few days ago, um, like a mom and her children over there sitting, and then the father came. You can tell he came from work. He had a suit on and he brought lunch. Yeah. And that really warmed my heart yeah. to see that, you know, families gathering having you know lunch here yeah. and enjoying themselves it was it was really a great thing yeah. i just like that it's it's such a great tribute to the the two of them and we've been in springboro since like 1988 and it's just it feels good to be able to give back to all these years being yeah. part of they were springboro. so supportive to all of us when the accident happened yeah. everybody yes. the whole the whole town of city uh, the whole yeah. city of springboro was phenomenal and this is just one small way we can give back yeah. to them uh, for helping us get through that really, you know, hard yeah. time. They were phenomenal. They were. Well, it's a great thing to the community, but it's a wonderful thing to see the township and the city partner to make this possible. Obviously, the Hossfields contribution and all their um, heartwarming thing behind it was great, but had the township and the city didn't have the relationship they have, it would not have been possible. So we really worked well together on things to make Spring Rule the community it is. The Great Township in Springville is one community, it really is, at the end of the day. Since John and I have been involved, we've just been able to work together and work things out. The council and uh, the rest of the other, the other trustees and administration all get along well, and if we have an issue, we just talk about it. It's not too hard, really. Yeah. 
everybody loves it and it's uh, it's convenient. We're right here in the corner of the city and across the streets the township. So right here where every, both entities, the families can come here. It's great. They love it. And my grandkids come here. They love it. Yeah, they were calling me in March wanting to know when Casey Jane Park was going to open up. And then in April they called me about when the concert's in the park. So they're one and two. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's a great addition to our community and we feel very honored that we can do this for our residents. We thank them and love them for what they've been able to do for our community. They've always been a great family and uh, you know, the, one of the daughters went to school with my daughters and uh, uh, everybody knows everybody so it's just it's like a big family. We thank you and the kids thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon everybody. How are you? Okay. I was practicing my social distancing and my mask here, but it's hard to hear, so we'll get started. Good afternoon, and I'm glad you're here today. It's a very good day to honor some folks and uh, say thank you at the same time. Before I do that, though, I'd just like to say it's my pleasure to welcome you to Casey Jane Park. The park is dedicated to Casey and her father, Tom Hosfield. Please join me in welcoming the Hosfield families. Lori Hosfield, Casey's mother, and Brad and Chris Hosfield, Casey's uncle and aunt. We're so glad you and your families are with us today. Joining me from the city are council members Jack Hansen, Becky Iverson, Nick Motto, city manager Chris Mazzuto, and Marine Russell Hoskin. Representing Clear Creek Township is Ed Wade and Steve Mutterspaw, Matt Clark, uh, Police Chief John Terrell, and Fire Chief Steve Eggenbrough. Welcome to all. A tragic plane accident took the lives of Casey and Tom 10 years ago. For that heartbreak, Lori, Brad, and Chris have created a long tribute that provides joy, fun, and laughter to families in our community for a very long time. We gathered about this time last year to officially open phase one of Casey Jane Park, which includes the Splice Pad and Shelter. The Splice Pad is already a destination for many families this summer. Today we cut the ribbon on phase two. Casey's Playground, which in addition to these two appropriate playgrounds, also features interactive electronic playground surrounded by musical sensory elements. Great fun for kids of all ages. On behalf of the city of Springboro, Clear Creek Township and all, we thank the hospital families for their generous donations to make this park a destination for kids to swing, climb, play, and cool off today and for many, many years to come. We have a keepsake sign for both families. This is Casey's Playhouse. Okay, and we'll put it right here. All right, I invite the families to join me officially by opening the playground. So if you want to come over here, we're going to do a ribbon cutting and all that. And Eddie, you're going to cut the ribbon with me. On behalf of everyone to make this possible, thank you so much. Three, two, one, cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got all the ruins? There we go. You got them all? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here's another one for you. Here's another one. There you go. Got them all. All right. Thank you so much for all that you did to make this possible. We appreciate it. What a wonderful, glorious day this is. Thank you. We appreciate all the work you guys did. Yes. Wouldn't it happen without you? You were, you were the catalyst to make it happen. We just took it and ran. Yeah. We took it and ran with it once you made it. It was wonderful. So thanks again. Bye, Steve. Thanks for being here.